Hello viewers, today I am going to show you how to delete the records in the data table. Previous session we uh, used to update the data. So uh, today's session is very useful how to delete the records in the data table. Previous session I show you how to insert and update the data in the data table. Okay, uh, here uh, things I want to delete with some column names ID. So what I going to do here is I just uh, add two more fields in the data table so that you can easily understand. So here uh, I give the ID 2 and ID is 3. Here I am giving new path 2 new part 3 so that you will get some difference here I am giving something like 4 or something so that you will feel the difference of the records so mm, okay fine now the things I want to change the UI UI what I am planning is uh, I just want to enter the ID I'm just going to remove those fields. It's really not necessary now. Okay, uh, here instead of the text update, I'm going to give delete so that the UA looks like something you're going to delete. So I uh, just run the project now. You'll feel the difference. Okay, I'm getting some error because the name doesn't exist. So what I'm going to do is I just go and delete things here. Yep. Okay. So I just delete this method too because it's event handled by update. So again, I will going to generate this method. So you will get easily uh, things what is exactly going. So I remove the on click event here. Okay, initially now uh, I have one text box uh, with some button name is button. I give some other name like button delete. So today I am going to delete the data. So I am just giving the instance like that. Okay, now I'm going to run the project. So now I have the ID and delete option. There is a three set of records in the table. So what I am planning is to delete some of the records in the table. So how to do that one? So here I going to fire the event to get the event I uh, need to double click the button or you can write manually and in the on click you have to enter this method name so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one table instance and there are table instance dt new data table okay uh, in previous session if you see what is the things going on you can easily understand so already I save uh, some set of records in the session so again I am going to retrieve this session here so anyways uh, uh, we are not using any database here so I am using some uh, temporary store purpose I'm using the session here so I want to return that session in a data table. Okay, now I have the records in the DT data table. So what I'm going to do is I want to select the particular row of the data table. So I'm just go and get 
the row data row collection here new i going to select the particular records uh, here i am going to want to delete according with the id so i am just take this id copy paste equal to text id dot text whatever the text that i am entering in the id field it will select according to that once i uh, click the button event okay now what i am going to do is i want to run the delete operation here we have the row selector so what i have to do i have to loop the row and i have to check which row that i need to delete so here already we have the filter with id so i just going to loop that one by using a for each you can use for loop also but for each is advanced now we can use this one here uh, i'm getting a single data row because uh, we have uh, the list of rows in uh, array format so i can take the particular row from the row array Yeah, I'm going to do operation the row dot delete. So now I have the operation that delete. So here uh, I selected the particular. row from the data table i am passing as a array then i loop this array and uh, it will loop and it will retrieve the particular row and it will uh, do the delete operation now uh, the thing i have to accept the changes then again i am passing this value to the session okay now uh, we have the updated records in session what i am going to do is again i going to bind this session data to the data source of the grid here i am using the grid control to display the records so i am using this one okay fine now we got it exactly what we need again i going to build the project Okay, now I want to delete the records ID two. So I'm giving ID and giving the delete operation. It is deleted. Okay, now I give the record like a delete. It's deleted. So our delete function is working fine using this method. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubt, please comment us and please share us the feedback how to improve our things. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.